Hi everybody, my name is Katie Barlow and I'm a student liaison officer at Lincoln University. Joining us today is Tony Bryan, the HOD and senior lecturer from the Department of Global Value Chains and Trade, who is going to speak to us about the Bachelor of Commerce majoring in Hotel and Tourism Management. But before we get started, Tony, please take a moment to introduce yourself and tell us what you really enjoy about your subject area and your role at Lincoln. Hi Katie, thank you very much. My subject involves the specialist area of hotels and tourism management. What I love about that is the variety that the tourism in industry both internationally and domestically provides us with. And I see great students coming through. It's great to be able to influence them into their careers. Great, so let's take a closer look at the Bachelor of Commerce majoring in hotel and tourism management. What can students expect to learn about? Well, this is a Bachelor of Commerce with a major. So you are going to gain all the knowledge and skills of general commerce. So there is management, economics, statistics and accounting, along with marketing and tourism. We cover off areas like human resource management, strategy and hotel management. So your base degree is commerce and the major is hotels and tourism. Interesting. So could you tell us a little bit about what the classes are like and if there's any practical work involved? Right. Well, the classes in the, in the large areas, we can have quite a few students in them. And as we specialise, we get smaller. So your class size could be in the large areas of 150 students in the general management. But as we come down into the hotel and tourism areas, you're down to sort of 15 to 20, 25 students in a class at that point. There is a practical component with our degree, and that's the requirement to spend at least 12 weeks working in the industry of your area of choice before you graduate. Now, the bonus of that is you are earning while you're learning, and you also have the skills. So when you graduate, you're not starting with no practical experience. You've got the practical experience, and that helps accelerate you through into that career management positions. So Let's say I graduate with this qualification. What kinds of careers could I go to? And is there demand out there in the workforce? Well, at the moment in 2020, the global world took a shock and tourism was one of those. However, tourism will come back. It'll be slightly different, but people will still want to travel. They'll still want to go and see different places and be with different people. The so careers are certainly there. And the careers that we're training people for are in that middle to senior management. So on graduation, you would certainly work in operations for a period of time, but your whole focus would be on taking on middle management roles and then senior management roles. The industry is very young and mm. growth and, and advancement can be very quick. Awesome. So bearing all that in mind, lastly, do you have any subject advice for students looking to best prepare for courses at university? Any general commerce subjects. So if they're taking economics and accounting in their general studies at secondary school, that's absolutely fine. If you're taking some tourism papers as well, that's fine. The papers for the commerce degree in terms of statistics and accounting, are subjects that you can enter at university without having done them at secondary. It's just that it gives you that deeper, deeper understanding if you're coming in with some knowledge. Absolutely. So thank you for joining us today, Tony. Thank you. And if you have any questions or you would like more information, please ask your careers advisor to put you in touch with your Lincoln liaison officer. Bye for now. See you next time.